Hey guys, welcome to Obscura Undead's weekly update. I am Mouse. And I'm Mazzy. And we are your weekly source for band news, tour news, music news, and other news type news. And music video reacts. But yes. more on that later. Uh, so this week, we are continuing our uh, giveaway question from last week. Who would win in a bat fight battle royale between Robert Smith, Peter Murphy, Susie Sue, and, and Andrew, Andrew Elrich. Eldridge? Eldridge. Eldridge. Uncle Andy. That's what the kids are saying. <laughs> so we're giving you one more week. One more week. To respond to the question, answer in the comments down below on this week's video or even on last week's video. And get creative. We've gotten a lot of really good answers. And we will be reading each and every single one and picking our two top favorites. And we will be giving away. What are we giving away, Mouse? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so we're giving away uh, two digital albums for Push Button Press's sophomore album, Spectacle One. And yeah. <laughs> if you want to know why you should enter the contest, go listen to the album, realize how great it is, come back and enter. But if you aren't creative, you aren't going to win. So yeah, put those hats on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get into it. Let's, let's talk about the news. All right. So starting with the news this week, it's not really music related, but it's band related. It is music related. Is it? You can make it music related. Okay, we can make it music related. Uh, so Cold Cave has a perfume. Ah! They, uh, Bet you didn't see that coming. Yeah. And apparently it is black, and you don't want to wear anything but black. They have a warning on it saying, This fragrance contains black dye and will stain clothes. Please wear all black. All black. So I wonder if they made it that way as a troll to make sure that the people using their product are wearing all black. I think maybe that's what the warning is, but I think that they just wanted to make a black perfume because what's more goth than that? There's nothing. Except, well, you know, unless every time you spritzed it, it like played their songs. Oh my God, that would be so, <laughs> so extra. Yeah, we haven't decided yet or found out yet if it will stain skin. But if somebody would like to send us a bottle of this perfume. Of this $96 a bottle perfume. Yeah, yeah, just a little pricey, but if you want to send it to us, go for it. We'll spray it all over the place and give you a great review. Yeah. I'll spray it on your hair and see what happens. And... Bet you'll smell like perfume and hair. Yeah. Ooh, perfume and hair. Okay, so let's describe this. So anyway, I, I saw my new band name. It's called Death. It is called Death. It is done by Blackbird Incense. They did an incense collab with them, um, a, I don't know how long ago, but it was recent. And they made two incenses, uh, Death, which is the one that was made into a perfume and love comes close so uh i just okay so why i don't know why they have this description in here but black is the night is the death of the day that's on the actual perfume leather is the skin we are imprisoned in marble is the stone in which we immortalize our souls and sage is the ritual in which we cleanse heal and begin again i don't even think there's any cold cave lyrics that are that dark <laughs> that overdone <laughs> but no. the, the scent notes on it are um it's leather and marble i don't know we don't even know we don't know we're not we can't describe something we don't have no they have like the scent notes on it and i'm completely blanking on what they are but leather is one of them i think tobacco might have been another one let's let's look this up um we have failed you please look it up yeah yeah that's what you meant yeah. If, yeah. But there's, yeah. there's something called oud in it. No, oud. O U D. Oh, we don't know what that is. Oh, that's like a um, a, a wind instrument. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an oboe. No, it is a wind instrument. I swear. <laughs> o U D. I'm not making it up. What are the scent notes? It says black is the night, is the death of the day. <laughs> Leather, sage, marble, dust, oud. A cold cave. Oh my god, you guys, I'm telling you, they're trolling everybody. <laughs> marble dust. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah. And, but and so yeah, if someone wants to drop money on that and send it to us. An oud is a Turkish instrument. An agar wood. It, it, it's probably agar wood. I'm sure it smells amazing. It sounds like it smells amazing. Um, Blackbird is also collabed with Zola Jesus to make in, incense. That's awesome. Yeah. And the other perfume this week is Chelsea Wolf. Has a perfume with uh, Lunea. It's L V N E A. And it's called Pesh Obscen. Um, an obscene peach. <laughs> and it is described as an enticing and narcotic blend of fleshy peach and sultry jasmine. Oh my Atop god. Atop a deep earthy base with aged patchouli, vetiver, moss, and wood. Vetiver. Okay, so I have come I up with my new vetiver. occupation. What is it? I'm going to write descriptions for perfume that sound yummy and make people want to buy them. Because without that, you wouldn't buy this perfume. Well, you might if you were a big Chelsea Wolf fan. And you yeah. wanted to smell like a witch. Or a peach. An or obscene peach. Or a vulva. Vetiver? I love vetiver. It's like it's like this really musky scent. I love it. Is it like velver? Velvet? No. I don't I don't know what it's velvet. Have a smell? Yes, it has a smell. When you okay. go to a club that's filled with like neck champa and smoke and cloves and you come back out. I just smell sweat. Uh, <laughs> that's those kind of clubs. Alright. It's moving on. Moving on. So two new perfumes. If you wanna either smell like Cold Cave or Chelsea Wolf. Now you have options. Um, Maybe you can smell like both at the same time. Oh god, that'd be awful. That is so bad. <laughs> I know, I can't wait to do it. Oh. Um, all right, moving on to actual music news. Uh, there are two bands who have had vinyl represses announced in this last week. One of them is uh, Switchblade Symphony. Yay. Cleo Rex repressed uh, Serpentine Gallery. They repressed it in lavender, when it looks pink, uh, clear marble, and in just clear. Now the pink one sold out like instantly. There were 500 of it, they sold out super fast. I got one of those. Of course you did. I, I, I found out it after that. And last I looked earlier today, there were like 25 left of clear out of 200. So I'm sure those are gonna be gone by the time this video goes up. I wish I had the lavender though. Uh, so the lavender, Marble um, was originally on the uh, the first press, yeah. and they had sold out of those. So this is an actual repress in the lavender marble. Yeah, and they're all numbered too. Every every single one of these vinyls is numbered. I wish they were signed by the band. I mean, there's a picture in there, and the picture is signed, but I think it's printed. Yeah, no, it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. <coughs> we miss you, Switchblade Symphony. Please come back. Please come back from your trip hop journey. Please come back from the '90s. <laughs> and the second repress is Deus Records repressed Pink Turns Blues two, uh, first two albums. So they, uh, the first one was 1985, if Two Worlds Kiss, they repressed that in clear, clear red, and then clear with red splatters. Uh, and they look really cool. And of course, you know, black, you can, get you can always get black. You can always get black. Just in case you're uncreative. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Black is great. Black is better for spinning, to be fair. It is. If, if you're gonna do vinyl teaching. It is. Um, and Meta, their second album released in 1988. Instead of red, this one is clear. Clear violet, like okay. like this color behind us. And clear splatter violet. Clear splatter violet. It's so pretty, like, I want it. I, cool. I, I want both of them. I haven't bought them. And both of these <laughs> are being released in anticipation of their upcoming North American tour. Um, they're going to be in our city in Tampa, yes. September 28th. Mm -hmm. And the, the vinyls don't release until August 9th, so they're still on pre-order right now. All right. So if you're a big fan of those, go get them. You may have also remembered us talking about a cute little book project a couple weeks back, and then spamming our caricatures, which were an unexpected treat, honestly, because we talked about the cute little book project. Um, Got the good Yes, yeah, the artist. And the project is called Veer Keller Kinder. It's basically a children's book, but about Wave Gothic Treffen and done up in black instead of like 
pastel pinks and blues and like these bright primary colors you see in normal kids books ew <laughs> <laughs> it's all blacks and grays which is beautiful yeah and, and um you know gothic personalities yeah and that's the really cool thing so the kickstarter has finally gone public is, is my whole point with this they had it released for i think about a week for the newsletter subscribers and they managed to fund about five thousand dollars over their ten thousand dollar goal which is absolutely amazing and a ton of people are going to be in the book a lot of their uh, couples packages sold out uh, so there's going to be like dozens and dozens and dozens of pictures including us are we in a couples package yes ah! we're going to be in we're going to be in the book too and i'm really excited to actually get a copy in my hand sometime next year so we can show it on camera it's going to be so pretty <laughs> Um, but I just want to color. I don't it. think you can color in it. I mean, you can color in yours. I'm not going to color in mine, but I don't think it's meant to be colored. I'm going to get some black crayons and color in my coloring book. <laughs> color in, you're going to color in like all the gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody's dark enough. Yeah. But, um, Christian, the guy who's putting it together is, he does a Facebook, uh, magazine and they also have a label called Rule of Three, and he does this with Pete Burns, uh, who's also of uh, Kilt Shelter, who you may have heard us talk about. A lot. we love Kilt Shelter, and we love Christian, and we got to meet him at Trekking, and... I would love to meet Pete. So Pete, come visit us. Come visit us. Everyone should come visit us. All the time. Oh, sure. Yeah. Forever. Everyone. And bring food. Yeah, please bring food. We have a, we have a guest over for this, this recording, and he brought chicken wings. So he's welcome back anytime. <laughs> <laughs> but if you back the project um, now, you can get uh, rewards like postcards to send to friends and family because who doesn't want like awesome goth drawings on, on postcards, like in the mail, you know? Imagine opening up your mailbox and seeing that, that'd be so exciting. Um, you can get a copy of the book. You can get a t-shirt with the logo on it. And if you act really fast, because they might be sold out by the time this video goes up, you can get your picture in the book. Are we gonna have like those like buy now, like one eight hundred like buy like buy, splash buy. explosions and? I mean, unfortunately, we don't have anything that we can include as an add-on. I was watching infomercials in Germany, and it was what? like a vacuum cleaner, and every time it was like a free included thing, they go gratis. Oh <laughs> like, yeah! Flash it off the screen, gratis. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Except it says grafties, grafties. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That'd be All right. I'm done with the jokes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be in it. It's gonna be awesome. Go throw money at it. At it every every stretch goal they hit, they're putting in new scenery and and it's gonna be it's gonna be so adorable. It'll be great. Do it. Um. So that's all the that's all the good news. You want to lead us into the bad news? This isn't bad news. Well, new right. order is coming. Okay. To Florida. Okay. This isn't bad news, but we do have some bad news. Sorry. New Order's coming to Florida. Tell us more about it. I can't go into it when you... When you do that. Okay. I love you. New Order has a four-day residency in Miami. We live in Florida, so it's super exciting for us. It's in Tampa, though, so it's kind of far. Oh, we're still in the same state. We're in Tampa. Yeah, it's we're in, in Tampa. Miami. They're in Miami. Yes. Well, they're going to be in Miami. Yes. Um, same state, annoying to get to for us. Oh God, Florida's so wide and long and awful. <laughs> I know some men that are like that. Ew. I'm oh, sorry. Ew. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, so uh, that's going to be in January of 2020. Pick up your tickets. I believe the pre-sale tickets um, go on sale sometime this week, probably by the time this airs. The tickets for uh, general admission will be available. So race to your local internet station and get <laughs> some tickets. Your local ticket master. <laughs> yeah, fuck <the> ticket master. <laughs> Can I say that? Master. Can I say fuck ticket master? Sure. What are the chances they're watching? Oh my God, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was the good news. That was the last piece of good news. The next pieces of news are gonna break our hearts. Terminal Gods. Terminal Gods. They broke up. Broke up. Unfortunately. We should just have a whole segment every week. <laughs> just this, like, what bands broke up this week? <laughs> what bands broke up this week? I don't know what it is. We've hit mid-year and bands are breaking up like 
things are happening, like things are changing and it makes me scared. That's and what it is. It's because things are changing, bands have to decide if they're going to get on board or if they're going to break apart. I think Terminal Guys just burned out because they've been doing this for 10 years and they organize a ton of events outside of like their shows. But they weren't actually doing anything, were they? They were doing a ton of stuff. Like they organized nights and they, you know, also performed and they gave a, you know, they gave a lot back to just their community. Like I think that, I think it might've been, uh, I think it might've been burnout, but they put out a statement and the statement reads, we formed ourselves into a self-perpetuating scene. We invented an umbrella organization to promote our own club nights and release our own records. Heavy leather sex. It's a line from the film Cruising, by the way, which looked exactly how we wanted to look at the time. Like rock music with a disco beat. A bit camp and a bit sinister. We made two albums. Both left us wanting to murder each other. This is traditional and nothing to worry about. We kissed and made up in the end. We could, at this point, do a long artistic post-mortem detailing what went into making the records and what finally came out, but we won't. We're sure you can work it out for yourself." End quote. Yeah. So they're a little cryptic about it. And I get it. It's a it's a painful thing to have to announce. Like, that, that sort of decision can never be easy. So they're going to be playing some final shows in the UK, not in the US, unfortunately, otherwise I'd be there. That's kind of strange well, that a band would break up and then still keep playing shows. Well, not really. They're just deciding to end the band and they're going to go out with a bang. And what a bang! They're playing the Fields of the Nephilim um, on June 27th. In Scotland. In Glasgow. Yeah. That's Scotland, right? Okay, and then uh, the next date is September 7th, uh, which is their finale with Imi and Le Junk. I don't, I don't know those bands. I know Fields of the Nephilim. But it's going to be their finale, so yeah. I'm sure that'll be amazing. Yeah, so if you're... Here in the area, you should go. You should, you know, go help them celebrate. Give them a good send off yeah. with a bottle of champagne, <laughs> like a ship. Uh, <laughs> I mean, a, I don't think that's the same. I don't know what people do for breakups. They give a cake. <laughs> they throw cake. <laughs> they throw cake. <laughs> when you get married, they throw rice. When you get divorced, they throw cake. All right. Uh, the other bad news. Um, the other bad news has to do with um, goth quote unquote supergroup, uh, October Burns Black, um, who just performed at Vegate. They have made the decision to part ways with the frontman. I think it's Jer. I thought it was Gur. Egan. Um, and uh, they put out a statement saying that they will not be making any public comments on it but that you know, these decisions are never easy and are not taken lightly. However, they are done in the interests of the band as a project. Inevitably, there are different points of views and no doubt they will be expressed in different ways. So I don't know how they're gonna replace them. Um, except, you know, if they will. I'm, I'm sure that they will. I, I doubt they're gonna try to get a sound alike. And uh, it wasn't just parting ways, was the words that, he, were the words used, was that, wait, what? Hang on. I'm trying to form sentences. Okay. Was he fired? He was fired. Okay. So the words used were that he was fired. Well, I mean, it's a harsher way of saying, you know, when we parted ways, when I got fired, I said, let go. Oh, yeah. fired made me want to cry. Oh, yeah. So sorry, Gurigan. Hope this means good things for October Burns Black. Hope this means only, good things for you. Only time will tell. Yeah. Who knows? I'm I'm sure life will happen and something great will happen. So we also want to let you know about some things to look forward to. We'll give you a rundown now. And some things that uh, you might have missed in the month of June that we haven't had a chance to tell you about. And we're sorry, but we were gone for a month. So first up, Neon the Game. Their release, Paramisha, came out on June 12th. Make sure to go check it out. You can find it on Bandcamp. Uh, False Figures uh, released A Promised Land on June 11th. This is very death rocky. You can find that on Bandcamp. Uh, Glaring put out a release called Taiki or Taik. Taich. Taichi. Or Letters. Tichi came out on June 16th. Uh, Such Beautiful Flowers released Neon Bloom on June 20th. 
Uh, Metropolis Records Dark Nouveau compilation came out on June 21st. And a couple of things that you should look forward to in the coming week is Angels of Liberty Servant of the Grail, which is coming out on June 29th. Uh, this release is significant because, as you may you know, or not know, uh, Vo the singer died a few years back and they were never going to release anything, but now they are releasing the album that they were working on, which is super cool. And I'm excited for it. Can't wait. And we're also very excited for Drab Majesty coming up on July 12th. I am counting the days. With Modern Mirror. With Modern Mirror. Mm. Also on July 12th is The Perch uh, with the song Rain. Oh, the album Rain. Album. Album Rain. So uh, excited for that as well. Yeah. So um, I'm sure we missed a ton of stuff. We're just trying to cover a couple of our own highlights. So there you go. Go check them out. Tell us what we should be checking out. Um, and that does it for the news. We just want to thank our patrons for making this episode possible. Um, because this episode was sponsored by the letter C. I thought it was M. Is it M? For I can never remember what letter we're sponsored by. But we would like to give a big thank you to Skullgirdle. Thank you. And Acid Bitter. Thank you. Thank you, Cadaver Kelly. Thank you, Dave Azoa, sir. Thank you, Dia Siculus. Thank you, Mason Shiver. Thank you, Beth Rizoff. Thank you, Junkyard Bat. Thank you, Libby. Thank you, Libby. Well, she's new. She's new. We will be uh, road tripping to Drab Majesty with her. Very excited. Very excited. In Atlanta. Atlanta. Mm. Um, thank you, Dreaming Noctis. And thank you, last but not least, the cow. Ah, 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 ah. Um, thank you to our new patrons. Thank you to the ones that have stuck with us. It's it's really cool of you. Um, and we are not thanking our lower tiers in voice, but we will now scroll your names across the screen because you're all awesome. And thank you. Again, I, we can't say thank you enough. Um, so we have two more videos coming out later this week on Tuesday and Thursday. Be sure to check them out. We have our traditional album review episode on Tuesday and our latest series where we react to music videos on Thursdays. And we might have a guest with us for this week's. If we choose to. If we choose to, if we can coerce him properly. If he doesn't piss us off. If he doesn't piss us off. So stay tuned, it's a surprise. Um, so go check out our other episodes where they come out later this week, and we will see you then. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.